Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. So it's time for a demo. So I saw this game called A Ground Zero. There's a demo and it's got Minecraft-esque uh, looking graphics, really cool looking uh, cartoon uh, little cutscenes and uh, characters in it. And it reminds me a lot of uh, Tectonica, which is a game that I played. I played, played quite a bit of it which was, you were like underground, you were building underground, it was set in the future. And this is quite a similar thing. The world has ended and we are in a deep underground uh, like base and we're trying to survive. And we've got an annoying, I mean, we've got a cheery AI companion. And yeah, it look, but from the screenshots, this looks quite interesting because it looks like you can grow all different crops and stuff. And there is other people by the look of it and that looks to me like a stargate portal i don't know if it is but there's other people and that one's got a chef hat on so this looks interesting so this is a demo for it and this came out on the 18th of jan apparently so i'm just going to check out the demo and see what it's like and uh hopefully you enjoy it so right in we go okay here we go so we're gonna start uh, a new game it looks like it supports multiplayer which would be quite interesting um we're gonna do a new i want to do a new slot so as you can see i've already played it for like 19 minutes to get a little gist of it so i'm gonna do random and see what terrible creation we come up with so I did play this last time i made like a golden freeman looking type of character well i had orange dungarees on yeah there we go that'll do i've got pink eye that will do so as i said it it reminds me of very mi much minecrafty the graphics of the actual levels and stuff but it's got these like cool looking characters so we are going to do okay on that i've got cyborg cyborg eyes apparently okay here we go so we start off look see look that's where i think there must be other people look so there's a bunker. <laughs> I fall down through the hole. And then it's a whole new world. So this is my AI, personal AI. And I'm here to assist you. Goody. Okay, so we need to uh, do some mining and get some power up first. Right, so give me the bad news. There's a cave in, your crowd pod's got damage and all signals are down. Okay, right click does the uh, torch the good news is all against all odds you are alive and mostly intact before you need to start worrying about the rest of the human race you need to focus on your own predicament so i need to start mining that's what it's basically telling me to do right that's gold that's coal that's uh, iron i think you just like mine into it and pick it up gold is the stuff that caused me pain last time because it's quite rare to find so I'm just gonna. Oh, that's a diamond. I've not actually used diamond yet, but I do need to mine all of this. That is for sure. This is typical. This it must be RNG because I've already found. Look, secret stuff, and <laughs> yeah, before it's even told me to do it. Anyway, let's do continue on this uh, tutorial. So that's the laser drill it's talking about. Right, yeah, I already know how to use a laser drill. So we need ore and gold. And we've got a torch as well, which I've already, I've already said. Now, if you look at the top right, we have got health. We've got hunger and power in the middle. We can replace all of that eventually. Uh, any questions, hit P. Right, so we need to get iron ore and gold. I've got enough gold, so now we need iron ore. So let's have a little look. It can be in the ceilings. Let's see if we can do some... Can we Can we actually mine like this? Yes! And one thing you shouldn't do, uh, it sort of tells you, but you can't replace the tiles in the floor at the bottom, so we're going to completely ignore mining below. Right, so what's this thing? Um, I think we need to do a bit of a tutorial before it tells us what to do with that. So let's just get enough iron ore. Perfect. Right, so now we can process them into building materials. So let's just, let's just mine a little bit more first. Okay. So if we select the assembler, we're by pressing number two. 
and we can craft items by right clicking so what does it actually want me to build um processing the building materials okay yeah so we need to turn all the gold in steel and that into wire okay so we uh, right click so this is like a work a portable workbench i guess you class it as so i want to make steel so i can just click on that i need to make five steel so you can see I'm making one steel bar per thing two more to go and then we need to make gold wire as well so we'll make this actually makes three in a row, so if I make two, it's going to make six. Lovely. Perfect. Now let's build the generator. So, that means we switch to the fabricator with three, and then right-click. So let's do continue. Red, red uh, guideline means you cannot place a structure, and blue means you can. Try placing the generator anywhere there is space. So let's make a little bit of space uh, over here in the corner. So we'll just cut, cut these little bits out here. Oh, a little bit of uh, iron ore there. I'm at, oh, gold as well. Yes, please. Shells likes gold. Right. So that's sort of a little bit of space there in the corner. So I'm going to yonk it there. Right, um, I need to I need to put this in now. So we've got, if you see the requirements below, I need five steel bar bars in this and five gold wire. So if you left click, it'll insert these from the bottom right. I will put these in if I remember when I had it. Nice. Okay, so that is the blueprint that we just built, which is a generator. So a little bit of stats about it. Generates 15 power a second while fueled. And that's what we're going to be using to refuel and stuff. Well, recharge. So you need a steady supply of power and food. The generator will produce energy as long as it has coal. You'll need a battery to store it. So we need to make a battery and also hydroponics. Perfect. So build a battery and hydroponics close to the generator. And we need to place these things next to it. Uh, does it mention that there? It says close to the generator. Choose a structure when using the fabricator. Ensure there's no guidelines and then place and build them the same way you did the generator. Yeah, we need to sort of do them next to each other. So I'm going to make a little bit more space here. In fact, we could even take this, this back tier here. That's got a bit of a range, this laser beam. But I'm going to take two cells just in case I need... A little bit more space all right so we need we need materials for this basically so let's bring up the uh crafting thing again and i have four i can make four steel bars and i can make another two gold bars fortunately you can't queue stuff up with this which is a bit of a pain but hey ho right so we need coal as well for power. So let's start collecting coal. And I want to see what that mysterious thing does as well. So we'll try and collect that. Oh, what a feeling when there's gold on the ceiling. Nice. Because last time I played this, the audio went really uh, wrong. It sounded like I was underwater. So... I was completely unlucky in finding any stuff the last time I played this, so I do have better luck this round by the look of it. Because I think it's RNG. Yeah, I'm running low on power. Don't sweat it. Got the technology. Right, so it, we need to build stuff. So we need to build a battery. So if we right click, choose battery, we need one steel bar and one gold wire. So I'm going to put that, let's try and plumb this out a little bit. Um, let's put the battery like there. Okay. Your protein suit can also extract small amounts of ambient energy. If you turn off your flashlight, you can slowly recharge your batteries. So that's pretty good. So that's that. I think that's like by the developer to stop you getting completely stuck. So if I turn that light off now, well, if I turn the light off, which I have, 
should start seeing the battery going up a little bit. We're on 73 at the moment. Hopefully that's going to go up to 74. Okay, yes, we've turned it off. Didn't we, didn't, we, didn't we turn it off? Oh, no, we didn't turn it off. There we go. So you can see the battery is slowly going up now. Right, we also need to build a hydroponics. So we are going to... Hmm, let's see. Um, do I need more gold yet? I'm not sure. Let's do another stack of gold. That'll do. Right, right click. And we need this hydroponics. So we need five steel bars. I have three. Oh, right, I've only got three. So I do need to make more steel bars. We only need five. I'll make six. I've got a spare. Perfect. Right, right click and do hydroponics. Again, I'm building it next to the main power thing. Stick it there. Okay, now it's time to give it some juice. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to build this first, don't we? There we go. Now that actually uses your power as well building stuff so you'll see that going down okay and then we need to connect it all together right buildings adjacent to the generator will auto connect if they're further away i can make cables and then i place them from the toolbar and remove them with the laser drill so that should be all good and connected because they're next to each other so let's see if i just put power in this coal so it's 100 seconds of fuel for each one let me add a bit of coal. Must you can write? I think. Let me see. Can you I'm trying to remember if you can split up your tabbage inventory? I think if you right click, you can break it down. So I only I only want to put one lump of coal in because we're experimenting at the moment. So there you go. That's all powered up now. Now you have food and power, things are looking pretty good. At least if you ignore the fact you're buried deep underground. Maybe you won't be that maybe it won't be so damn bad down here. You can use the fabricator to improve the cabin. You might even find other survivors. That's what I want to do. So we've unlocked some new blueprints. So what have we got that's new? We've got a factory and we've got a storehouse. So stores, items, and dispatches them. And factory crafts items. Right. So this is only going to last, like, X amount of seconds. Now, when it's like that, you can see it's charging up. Now, if I do retrieve on it like that, I can fully charge up. And if I look at this, you can see currently we are making tomatoes. And that is going to time 100 seconds. So what we can do is let's add a little bit more fuel in here. So we're guaranteed a little bit of fuel. Right, now let's turn my torch back on. I want to see if I can do something with this. So if we right click, we can dismantle it. So let's do that. Let's see what it is. I think it's debris from a base. Yeah, it's debris from the base. There were supposed to be many of us, many of these for survivors to live in once they woke. It looks like they were destroyed. If you find dismantle enough, I could create a blueprint so I can do a new bunker. Right, so we need to find five of them. Right, so that's another one there. Perfect. So let's get trying to find some more as well as finding materials. Now, this is where it starts getting confusing when you're going down corridors and you're like, have I been down here? Have I not been down here? I'm not sure. I'll we'll need a lot of iron, aren't we? Let's try and go down bits that look like corridors because surely they're going to open up to new areas. See? I mean, what? what is that? I don't know what that is, but we dismantled it and it was lovely. Right, I'm going to go back to see if my food is ready yet. Are you ready? Have you outputted anything? Okay, when it reaches 100, the item will be dropped out of the structure. Oh, wait a minute, have I dropped? That's not dropped a tomato. Where does it spit them out? Oh, around the back. There you go. So then I can just... Select that with zero. 
and hold right click to eat it. Does that even make sense? Hold right click. That's, <laughs> that sounds wrong. Alright, so then we're going to go and explore again. Where was that tunnel I was just down? Down here somewhere, wasn't it? Is it this shaft? This looks like this is opening up. Okay. Um, now, look there. I've just noticed. If you look at the little symbol. Oh, that's home. I thought I found some secret. Oh, so excited then. That's so disappointing. Let's uh, try and open it up again. Looks like this. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I've not. I did not find this last go. I've not prepared for this. Um, hello, friend. Can I? You can't repair. Well, oh, left click's open. It's occupied by Grainy. It would be cruel to wake them up before there was a bunker. Oh, oh, I want to make a bunker. Right, let's um, keep exploring then. There we go. That's definitely a bit of bunker. We can find another, uh, say, for instance, one piece. Yeah, let's get rid of that message that's on the screen that I'm so excited I didn't even think to get rid of the message then because I was like oh so we need to make a storage area I think to store some of my stuff okay oh it's not as efficient as a factory factories will continue to craft their recipe until they run out materials okay they can even they can even request more materials from stores connected to them by conveyor belts are you, are you sneakily telling me that's what I should be doing then? Sure, you already know this, but as an organic being, you do need to eat. Yeah, we've done that already. Oh, yeah, you can also make coal into nutrient blocks, which I don't think it's as nutritious. Yeah, you may prefer real real food. I prefer real food. Anyway, let's get Scran in on this. Lovely. Let's go in here again. Just charge up. Okay, so let's try this build then. So, which one? I'm just curious about the food. Right, nutrient block block restores twenty hunger, and it's uh, three lumps of coal, and that restores twenty. Oh, what? To so eating this coal thing? <laughs> yum 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 yum. That's just as good as eating a tomato. That's what you're telling me. Right, we uh, want to build a storehouse. I need five steel bars and a one gold wire. Okay, let's um, try and plonk that there. No, 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 I built two. That is not what I wanted to do. There you go, should be okay. We just build the one. All right. How do I cancel that one that I've just sort of semi-built out? Oh, well, I don't think I've actually built it. Right. So this is a storehouse. So I can just put stuff in it. All right, and then what was the other one? The other one was the factory. So we have got... Have we got... So how does, how does the factory get stuff? Store items and dispatch them connected by belts. Now, we have not got belts unlocked yet, so that is Shirl's being disappointed. So what I can do is, let's just store the majority of this stuff in here, and we'll go looting. Okay, I finally found an extra bit of bunker. In fact, I found loads of stuff. That was like the opposite way to that player. So let's suck that up. Okay, now I'll fill in the, the gaps missing from the scan debris, and voila, one bunker blueprint ready to be built. Okay, once you build a bunker, we can start waking up the other survivors and get a little underground settlement going. Scan this while I can, then. Now, what's this, or who's in this? Oh, it's a mad scientist. There's loads of debris in here. Oh, this is cool. I mean, look at that. We can't even dig through that yet.
This has gone majorly wrong, hasn't it? This base, all the stuff everywhere. So that's interesting. That's like something I can't actually dig through. So it's like, what the heck is that? And who's this anyway? Um, Andromeda. Okay, Andromeda. Let's uh, go back to the main tomato reserve, and uh, I think I'm actually full of tomatoes at the moment. Let me uh, let me let me get these scrammed down. Nice. Okay, and that's all charging. Let me get this. Oh, I love the I love I love the UE for that because uh, that tells you exactly what's in it. Okay. So let's look what I need to build this bunker. So if we right click, so a bunker, a place for rest for four people, produces oxygen, requires two power a second. So we need 30 steel bars for this. Oh, and six gold wire. Well, I think that is a perfect place to go. And that's it for now. So yeah, that's all we're going to do for now. So if you do want to see some more, I can go off and record this, collect all the stuff to build the bunker, and then... You know, if enough of you want to see it, let us know in the comments and say, Shells, I want to see the bunker. Enough, enough of you can comment on it and I'll produce a second video and we can explore a little bit more of the game, figure out how to get the uh, automation going with the uh, building the storehouse and building the, uh, the factory because that would be very, very interesting to see how it works. And the people, do they do the stuff for me? Can they pick up my tomatoes for me and put it in the chest? Because that's what I want them to do. Anyway, that is it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. So we are going to go save and go, and that is it for now. So this is a ground zero. I'm Shirley Rocks. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. I've enjoyed playing it. If you did enjoy watching it, don't forget to do all the socials. Leave a, leave a thumb up on the video. Drop me a sub if you're not already subscribed. And thank you also for just for watching. So see you next time.